Hello everyone, it's Martin and today I want to show you in this video SACOD. SACOD and SiteX Kata by using a simple example. So let's start SiteX Studio. I have a project defined and I'm launching the SACOD editor and I can create a SACOD file like that. So the first thing I want to create a function in this example. So I will create function, my start function. And I will use some tags already defined in my project. So you can see I have start. I have some alarms as well, but I want to add another variables like a level, which is the part of cluster one and the internal IO device. It will be an integer. I save this and I can use these variables on my second file. So if start equal to one, then I want to say while the level will be inferior at five, I can do level equal to level plus one can pause my code for a second like that with sleep one I'm closing my if loop and my function and I can duplicate this function to create my stop function so when start it equal to zero and if the level is superior to zero I can click level minus one I can add as well another if loop and if in case of negative, so let's say if level is inferior to zero, then I want to initialize my level tags to zero. And I'm closing the loop. I'm done with the cycle file, so I can save my cycle file with my two cycle functions. And in my safety project, and I can open my page. So, so far, I have two buttons with one pump, start and stop. And I want to add a tag symbol and I'm adding a rectangle for simulating the level of my um, water, for example. And I'm using the level option and using the tags level and I specify the range between 0 to 5. For the button, I'm adding my start function and the up action of the button, like that. And then the down option, I'm using the my stop function by using that i will call the, the function start and the function stop just saving and compiling my project and i'm running my setup without to initialize my computer with the default parameters using and displaying my page first and here we can see i can log in with my site user which is engineer and when I'm clicking start, we can see here the level of my tank is increasing and when I'm stop is decreasing. So I'm calling cycle function by doing that. So thanks for watching and see you for the next video.